Today we're taking a look at the brand new 3.0 over there TV. Many people will call this ATSC, that's the official standard for this 3.0. In reality, many people outside of the industry are just calling this 3.0 over there TV. It adds the ability to have 4K, additional channels, um, and for most people, more importantly, it's adding the ability to have better penetration in the world uh, out in public. So if you live in an area that struggles to get over their TV and you're on the edge, the hope is this new 3.0 standard will punch through trees, punch through buildings better and give you better over their TV coverage. But it has a host of other features beyond 4K, beyond better coverage that I wanted to talk about today. Last month I was able to get a hands-on demonstration of it working in the wild back at Las Vegas and I wanted to show you what I learned. All the photos you're going to see here are photos I took during the demo and it's pretty impressive, I won't lie. I was very impressed with what I saw here. Well, right off the bat, before you get too far into this, know that these are early betas. These are more proof of concept than they are actual. This is how it's gonna look when it hits the public. So let's dive in here. Right off the bat, one of the big things with 3.0 Over There TV is through the Over There TV guide, uh, you're gonna get a guide. Currently, there is data there, uh, but you don't really get a full-blown guide how far forward it comes in over the air is very limited, so you're not really able to go in a few days into the future. With this system, it will include data for 14 days into the future, they told me at the event, and it will work even if you don't have internet. With 3.0, you do have the ability to connect your TV to the internet to get additional features. We'll cover that in a little bit, but the guide data will not require an internet connection. This is the um, demo guide they're using to supply the data here. You can see it's showing you what's on now, later on, and they told me this would go 14 days into the future, So you, and a little bit in the back. So you can go in here and access additional data and content with it. Uh, I, I really like the guide. It was a very fresh, um, easy to read uh, look at it, and I, I thought it was very intuitive to use also. Um, the other thing they're doing here with 3.0 is they are including the ability to have a subguide. So this is a, what you're seeing on top is a video camera that they were transmitting with 3.0 um, technology and then they were overlaying this guide. So at the bottom of it you could bring up a mini guide so you can continue to watch your show but also browse around to see what else is on right now. Now great for football games you want to jump between the different games or just want to see what's on TV right now. And this is what they're demoing for that. Uh, they say this is kind of the running theory on how they would like this to look going forward. With that and um, the guide, there's some additional information. So you can go over, for instance, and see coming up next, the NBC Weather Plus, and you can select to change your menu or you can get additional program information. Here is where you'll get the ability to see what's on um, and get a description for the future. Currently, you can do that with what's on now and some TVs pull off the internet to do that for you, but with 3.0, this will just be a free feature that everybody can get access to. This will also be a place where the theory and the hope is you'll be able to find a way to watch it in different ways. Let's say you missed the NBC Nightly News. With that, you could collect in here, open this menu, and maybe use it to launch into the NBC app to watch the NBC Nightly News that you just missed. And there's many other features on here like that, uh, that hopefully that they intend to build in here and interactivity. So it would take you from the over the air version to the internet version, where you'll no longer be watching it with your antenna, but be watching it through your smart TVs app on there. So it's a, it's a cool feature. I kind of like it. I like the ability to say, hey, I miss this particular event. I really want to watch it. Now I can go do that through other ways. One of the other features out there with this guide that was really nice is built-in search. So not only can you uh, look at what's coming up, you will have a ability with your TV natively to search for content out there. So right here, we're just in Intermel, and you can see you get Jimmy Kimmel, and you get a, looks like a local program in the area with that. So maybe the, let's say you, you know a show is coming out, but you don't know the channel or the date, or maybe you just want to see Family Guy's airing on like the local CW or something. This would be a great way to do that. Now we're jumping into the area that this is pure proof of concept. What you're seeing here is a demo, not really intended to be what you will actually see. 
And this comes down to a lot more of the interactivity that 3.0 promises. So you got the 4K, you got the buyer reception promise, and you have the ability of being able to interact with the content you see. Uh, one of the demos, I don't have a photo here they recently did, was during the Olympics, you were able to uh, pull up a bar at the bottom of the screen to see all the medal counts. So you could see who was in the lead in the world tally, uh, what countries had how many bronze, gold, etc. by pulling internet data to overlay over the over the air TV. Now this one is showing interactivity with a discount. So we're in Vegas, so it's showing a discount for a show. You can see that it's talking that on Tuesdays and Thursdays the show happens, you can reserve the tickets. Prices range from 52 to 172 but you can save 50% by entering this code. Um, you can do that on your uh, phone just by going to the website and so forth. You can um, tweet this deal, email this deal, all kinds of stuff, or they have a um, uh, QR code here where you can scan with your phone, take it to, your, to the page, and get the deal that you see on your TV. So this is really about the ability for restaurants to have a little block as the commercial airs. There'll be a little block that'll pop up in the, let's say, the lower right-hand corner. It will say, get this deal or learn more about this deal. If that's something you're interested in, you could click on it, and something like this will appear where you can um, interact with it directly on your TV, or you can use your phone to download the QR and then use the browser on your phone to complete it which is a cool feature. This is something you will have to opt into. They said very clearly, repeatedly, that the interactivity and the ads will be something you will opt into and say, yes, I am interested in being able to get additional features with that. Um, I see this technology being really big with like local news. Often you see them talk about, hey, if you'd like to learn more about this story, visit our website. Well, what happens if now that's a button on the, the bottom of your TV? It says, click this button and it will launch into um, your the website and bring other features and options there or bring up a QR code you could use or you know really the options are endless here with your interactivity news sports weathers all kinds of stuff um, imagine the ability to overlay sports um, you're watching a football game you want to see which team has more yards right now you pick up your cell phone maybe in the future you just press down on your phone or your internet smart TV cap capable device will display at the bottom the current stats pulled from the internet so you can see rushing totals and first downs and the list goes on and on so i think there's a lot of cool features here to play around with the other cool feature is the idea of video on demand so the idea that you will a channel will also have the ability to uh, send to you streaming online video on demand content so as, let's say you're watching your local uh, abc and you're, you come in late on a show, they may have the ability for you to go rewatch the show on demand. All kinds of other settings could be here. But it's really pushing the idea that over there TV wants to add on demand content based off of your local channels. So if you miss something, it's right there. So keep that in mind. It's a really cool feature that I think a lot of people will like and they're definitely trying to expand the TV experience past the idea that this is just for um, t, you know, watching it to interacting with the content you're seeing on the TV. Part of that's going to be the, the ability to get more information, get deals, and get video on demand. Uh, next up, right here, we talked a little bit about how, you know, people may not want this. Um, right here, as you can see with this disclaimer, you have accepted the offer to receive personalized ads and other content you may shut this off at any time. No personal identifi identifiable information will be shared outside of this device with third-party providers. So keep that in mind. I know a lot of people don't like this kind of content. They don't want this. And when I was at the um, ATSC 3.0 demo, they were extremely upfront that this will be an opt-in right now and it will be something you can turn off at any time. So if you like it, you want this ability, it's there. If you don't, they can shut this, uh, you can shut this off basically. So video on demand, ability to interact with um, the content on the screen, get additional information. Um, if you like a commercial, you see there'll be ability to get uh, that deal right then and there, not have to try to remember the website um, and do it later, which I find pretty cool. Well, there you go. That was your first look at the um, new ATSC or however you say it, 3.0 over there TV. 
I think the 3.0 over there TV is probably just going to be what the general public cat um, grabs onto and what's going to probably be known for on this system. So I was impressed with it. The quality of the video was excellent. Um, this was a limited test though. Uh, starting in a month or so in Phoenix, they say they're going to do a full blown test in, as the Phoenix market being a beta test. Cleveland, Ohio, some other partners are testing different things out there related to the 3.0 or their TV. As for when this will hit the end user, we're probably looking at the earliest late 2018. 2019, we'll probably start seeing it and rolling out to more markets in 2020. The good news is if you don't want to upgrade, because the antenna you have will work with 3.0. It's the tuner in your TV that won't. There's already companies who have announced that they're working on a little converter box or a stick where you can plug your antenna into the back of your TV and then that um, will plug into an HDMI port on your TV, for example. Uh, like a DVR would, and then you could access all these features through that. But the FCC has said for five years after the 3.0 transmission shift starts, they have to continuously transmit in 1.0. So we're currently in 1.0, we're skipping 2.0, going to 3.0. And with that, that means your current tuner on your TV and your DVR and everything, once your local makes that jump, you'll get five more years out there before you have to worry about, do I want to buy a converter box? Do I want to get a new TV? And probably in five years, most of the people with the TVs now are going to need an upgrade anyways. We'll probably start seeing 3.0 TVs at the end of 2018 start rolling out. So keep an eye on that. But overall, I was impressed. It's a nice service. Wouldn't be freaking out if you're worried about having to go buy one. There is no need to worry about that right now. We're years and years away from you having to worry about anything like that. Your DVR is going to keep working. Your TV is going to keep working. And hopefully it's just a minor up, you know, for most people, it'll just be a minor upgrade buying a little um, stick where you plug the antenna on one end and plug it into your TV on the other. So questions, comments, let me know. Hey, please hit that subscribe button. And it really does help us hit that thumbs up. It really helps core cutters do spread the word about core cutting across YouTube. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.